What's up, YouTube? It's Miss Black Pearls. I finally got a laptop and I finally got a Logitech to put on that laptop so that I can bring you guys some videos. So guess what? I'm here today to show you guys how I got this wash and shingle and go. <laughs> All right, guys, I've been learning a lot about my hair. I'm not sure what type I am. Um, a lot of people seem to want to know that. Um, but the more I deal with my hair, the more confused I get. That's just, let's be honest with that one. So I still think I'm a 4BC. I know you guys are going, I don't think so. Not with all that curl in your hair. But guys, this is a wash, shingle, and go. Now I've been doing just like everybody else. I've been looking at YouTube videos and I've been trying to figure out how to wear my hair. What can I do with this short hair? And I got to say, guys, this is my third time doing this stuff. It's not that difficult. I actually did this uh, right here videoing for you guys. I just started out talking and decided I was going to show you guys how to do it. So stay tuned if you guys are interested in how I wash shingle and go. With the water in my hair and the liquid in it's detangled, I usually use either a uh, Giovanni's direct leave-in, and this container is kind of dirty, or I, I will use some type of Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Conditioner. The liquid right now is the water that's left in my hair. I'm going to go in with some olive oil. So I was told that this thing will zoom in pretty good on, there it is. So I will do the O right now, being the olive oil. And I do a quite a bit to my hair. I see, like I said, it could be any conditioner of your choice. Today I'm going to go ahead and use the Shea Moisture Conditioner and Shine because it's almost gone. I'm going to be geared to the Giovanni products since they're natural. And um, once I use this one up, I probably won't buy any more Shea moisture products and then again who knows even though you're natural you still don't want to comb through your hair like you're crazy and with my hair that coils all the time no matter how you detangle it it's going to coil right back up and while I have my hair in this state and it's still wet and still has the moisture in it I will grab the um, gel I went out and bought some Eco Styler Gel, and this is the kind that has the olive oil in it. You don't want to do this on dry hair, in my opinion. You want to do this on hair that's just been washed. So I'm going to take the hand, my hands and go in with a lot of gel, and I'm going to start just taking this gel throughout my hair. You want it all over. And if I were you, I would keep a towel handy, and also a spray bottle handy. Because it's going to feel like your hair is kind of drying up on you and you don't want to work with hair that feels dry. This is just some water and olive oil. Here's what I'm going to show you guys. And hopefully I can show you guys this. This method of shingling is strictly you taking your hands and you're almost just smoothing the hair strands. You smooth in the hair and then you release the hair. You see those curls that it, that it created? I'm just going to move on to the second section and do the same thing. Now this, was, this is what makes me debate if I'm a 4C anything because I remember someone saying that you can't do these kind of textures if your hair curls. So I don't know what I am anymore and, I'm, and it really doesn't matter. I just need to know if I'm telling people who they think they have the same texture as me what to do with their hair see those curls that are kind of forming so all I'm going to do is just take a comb detangle go in and you just you can take thin strands you don't have to do wide ones and you can just pull each one as you you pull those strings you're just stretching them out and you're releasing it so they can fall fall back into whatever curl pattern it chooses. Now hopefully by the time I'm finished with this section, you guys will see the difference between this and the rest of the hair.
I don't know what you guys see right there. I know what some of you may be saying, my God, that's that's so white in your head. What the hell are you doing? It's going to dry. And when it dries, it's going to be clear. It's not going to be white at all. So keep that in mind. I am going to take a dryer and just go through my hair um, to make sure that the areas are actually dry. I'm going to take the detangle section again and just pull, taunt, and release. Same thing. Pull, taunt, and release. I'm just smoothing the hair with my fingers and releasing it. And I move on to a different section. So again, you notice that I'm taking small sections, pulling the hair, stretching it, smoothing it out. If I feel tangles with my hand, I will go in with the comb and just go back in and release it. Notice that there are curl definitions versus this side. The first time I did this, I remember a lady saying that the front of her hair, uh, a couple of women, as a matter of fact, said the front of their hair would not curl. I found find that to be the issue with my hair too, but for some reason, the more I do this, um, the more I see the curl patterns in my hair. I can't explain that. So you can see those curls clumping together now in my head. You can see them more defined. I will come back and get a toothbrush and clean up the edges of my head because I want that to look clean and lay as well. Okay, so I'm going to continue on this side of the part with shingling. Notice how I'm taking the tail of my um, comb here and just lifting it up. So I'm going to start by Pulling taunt the hair and releasing it. Same thing, pull taunt, release. Pull taunt, release. Pull taunt, release. And pull taunt, release. Pull taunt, release. Pull taunt, release. You guys definitely can see that. I'm going to go in again with the section right above. I'm going to detangle. Again, if you feel like you need more gel, do that. If you need more moisture, do that. So starting again here at the beginning, pull until it's taut and smooth as you're pulling. You're smoothing the hair at the same time. Release it. I want somebody with very tight uh, 4C pattern to try this because I'm totally confused now on what my fixes are since my hair is able to do this. I'm almost there. You guys can actually see what sections of hair have been shingled as they call it I believe or which parts of the hair haven't been shingled. This section hasn't been shingled. But the rest has you can see that big difference between this the more i do it the more i get the hang of it and the more i surprise myself i didn't think i would like it and i ended up liking it quite a bit and you can actually have people thinking that you've done something like a, a curl kit or something like that to your head when in fact you haven't with this little bitty section right here guys but keep in mind we just washed so I like doing this on wash days it's the same thing with my coils if I'm going to coil my hair I would rather do that on a wash day so here I go again stretching the hair just taking sections stretching it until it curls back or curl back I think that the product won't allow those tight coils to happen but that's why it does it has the illusion of curls because the product won't allow um, the coil it will only allow um, it to go back in a looser form 
So I'm gonna go and get my dryer. So I have this dryer that I'm going to turn on and do my hair. Just take your rat tail tooth comb and just kind of lift it up as you see fit. I'm not bringing it all the way out and through, guys. I'm just kind of lifting those curls. That I was so amazed that my hair could do this with gel or or could even form curls like this. It shocked me. So don't say what your hair can't do. Okay guys, these are my results. I hope that you guys like them. And I'm gonna try to get up in the camera so you guys can actually see. Not bad, right? I like it. Uh, but the thing is, I am just around the house today. I got a lot of cleaning up I have to do. So I just brought this video to you guys. Uh, because I know you're wondering what the heck is she doing and this is what I did today for you guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video may God bless you don't forget the thumbs up it's Miss Black Pearl signing off see you guys in the next video see ya